Hey, this is Richard with Light Pools, uh, and today we're looking at doing an actual good push-up. So I also have a video of what not to do, and then act like it's a good push-up. And so now I'm going to show you what, how to actually do a good push-up. So first thing is that you want to get you want to get your uh, hands, you know, shoulder width apart, and then you also do not want to flare your arms out right here. Uh, you don't have to bring them in and keep them right beside your side. You really want to be at about a 45 degree angle, so not flared out here, not necessarily right beside your side, but about a 45 degree angle coming out. And you'll see that it's a, it's a comfortable position. It should be a somewhat comfortable position for your arms. Next thing, and most importantly, you want to keep your back straight. You don't want to come down here. You don't want to have your rear end up in the air. You want to have your back perfectly straight. Okay? And then so then next thing is that you want to come down and you want to come down so that your arms come down to a 90 degree angle. And so that probably will not have your chest touching the ground. So you don't have to come all the way down and touch your chest. But I look forward. I'm not craning my neck so that I'm not even coming down to a full 90 degrees with my arms. Some people crane their neck way down so that they're not getting the full benefit of the, the push-up. You've got to come at least 90 degrees before you get the full benefit of the push-up. And so I'm not craning my neck way down here. That's just like having my rear end up in the air. I'm not craning down so that I'm just doing that right there, see? I'm going to be looking forward. My back is straight. I'm going to come down until I get 90 degrees on my arm, and then I'm coming back up. So I'll show you a good push-up. And most importantly, keep your back straight. You don't want to keep come down and then have your, your uh, hips or your legs touch. You want to keep them nice and straight right here. I'm coming down so that I'm at least 90 degrees. My chest is not actually touching, but I'm looking forward and then I come back up. And then you want to do it in a controlled manner so that you get the full benefit of each push-up. And that's what, that's what a good push-up should look like. And so whenever somebody says that they can crank out, you know, 100 push-ups, if they, if they can crank out 100 push-ups, no problem, doing those kind of push-ups, that's great. You're doing great, you know. Not any of the other stuff that's, that's not actually a good push-up. So you do these, you can do them in, in sets of 10 or 20 or something like that. But that's what you want to do. You want to crank it out. You don't, you don't need to go real fast. But you and get in a real good, nice push-up. So that's whenever I sign push-ups, that's the kind of push-up that I want. That's the kind of push-ups I do. Those are the most beneficial for you. That's the kind of push-ups I want to see. Hopefully that's helpful. We'll see you next time.